Shout out one, shout out one, shout out one before I get started as always. I would love to say call all your hava, by Hashem, you have a shite, by Hashem, we call Kurt Dodge, the bonus to the elders and the apostles of great meal stone. And shout out one to the whole for that shout out one. Alright, the heavenly father name is Yahweh. Who in the world it will be calls God. Alright, Yahweh means he is this. He is that he is. His eyes is ten thousand times, brighter than the sun, technically infinite. In the course of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, he is the former of all things because without the Heavenly Father Yahweh, nothing else will exist point blank period. And it's just that simple. And the Heavenly Father's son name um, is Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh Shai means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. Same exact thing. And Yahweh Shai is coming back to save and deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Now the question is, who are the Hebrew Israelites? Who are the Hebrew Israelites, sons of God, Prince of Power, Yahshua Allah? They are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians in the Israelite foreigners that look just like the other nations because you are according to the seed of your father. But remember, you do read the book of Numbers chapter 1, so you can be a so-called black, white, Japanese. It don't matter how you look. You are who your father is. That's why a perfect precept for that would be that my people is as a speckled bird. You know what I'm saying? Because Israel look like all nation under heaven. But their line goes back to so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian. Do they father? So anyway, what I want to do is start off in the book of Revelation. And I still got Obadiah on deck from yesterday. All right. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. It says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. First and foremost, we have to understand who is my people. Who is that talking about? Anybody? Absolutely not. There's countless of scriptures that goes into the Lord's people. And I just told you the opening, and I done explain it, how do we I open up all the time. All right? So it says, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Which means, don't participate in the things that she promotes. Who is that she? That she is the whore that sits on the beast. What is the whore? America, the beast is NATO in the EU with those seven heads. Okay? In the, in the image of the beast is the system. That's going to lead to the NWO. That's going to wish us the MOTB. Let's for another day. You know what I'm saying? So now, don't partake in her sins, which means don't participate in her sins. What is the participation that's talking about? That's talking about the do as thy will. Go ahead and sin. Sodom and Gomorrah style. I ain't talking about Shaolin Monk style. I'm talking about Shaolin. I'm talking about... Not Shalane Monk style, I'm talking about Sodom and Gomorrah style. Just like those three neighboring cities had look at Sodom and Gomorrah and say, damn, I like that. Matter of fact, we gonna do it too. Fast forward on 6,000 or 7,000 years later because the earth ain't, ain't that um, old. Fast forward it's on, now nah, we're talking about Sodom and Gomorrah. No, we're talking about about 5,000 years. So anyway, Let's just be safe. Let's be safe to say 6,000 years. So let's say, fast forward 6,000 years later. All right. Now you have the other nations, which is the other countries, talking about some. You have been restaurantized. Right? Don't they say that in other countries? You being restaurantized? You being Americanized? Or Bidenized? <laughs> All right? You know what I'm saying? Don't be like America. Now it's gotten to the point. That red states is basically saying, don't be like the blue states. In order to understand that, you have to live in America. Or to understand the American way, the United States of America. I ain't talking about Central or South or the Bahamas, you know what I'm saying? The Virgin Islands. I'm talking about, y'all know how the blue states get down with the progressives and stuff like that. So that's another topic within itself. You know what I'm saying? Because. When you talk when you look at the blue states, man, they have all kinds of um it's basically Halloween every single day. That's the best way to put it. That's the easiest way to put it, is Halloween every single day. You know what I'm saying? So let's fast forward. Let me read the scripture one more game. We're gonna keep it fresh in your mind. Well, this part one more game. We have to keep this fresh in your mind. 
um, Romans chapter 18, verse 4, it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Basically, come out of her ways. Don't be like her. Now that I have woken you up to the truth, don't be like the old man. Be like the new man. Once upon a time, you crawl. Now it's time for you to not only walk, but fly. You, you, you went from a worm to an angel. Let that sink in. Matter of fact, now I got to speak about that. About me actually seeing the angel. But we're going to speak about that because I actually seen the angel. Real talk. I, and I put that on me. I ain't lying. No, I actually seen the angel. Real talk. On me. All right? I ain't lying. I seen the angel. Matter of fact, now we have to speak about that. All right? Um, Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. It says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. That's talking about what? Participating in the abomination acts. Um, let me uh, give some examples. Anything, I can say this, but let me say this first. I might I might go into that, but two things just not came to mind, so I love this. Um, the first thing is this, depending on how much time I got left. Anything that Esau promotes is wrong. You know they promote the do as they will. Um, we got GMO food, you know what I'm saying? We ate everything. If it's seedless, it ain't right. Um, as a matter of fact, we got seedless, bananas, orange, um, watermelons. You know what I'm saying? You got um, no fruit supposed to be seedless. So I'm saying. Um, banana's supposed to have seeds in it. Orange, um, I had me an orange this morning. That should be good as fuck, but it ain't had no seeds in it. I still eat the fuck out of that shit, but anyway, um, watermelon and stuff like that. It ain't got no seeds in it, but where they had the seeds at? But anyway, um, anything that Esau promotes is wrong. You know what I'm saying? He, he promotes um the uh the do as thy will the agenda y'all know what i'm talking about the agenda the uh the uh the um i want to what i want to say first it, damn it's so much things i want to say first as a matter of fact uh the uh the women's liberation so-called women's li liberation basically what i always teach you is all giving the woman license to sin that's one of them now I'm saying she done put the man on child support. Um, one out of three, uh, every time the man take a DNA test to see if the, the child is his, it's not even his. One article is saying 60% of men that take the DNA test prove that the child is not his. Another article is saying one out of three that the child is not his. But the elite is pushing for the woman. All right, sir. But the elite is, the so-called elites is pushing for the woman to what? On these movies, the music, your gangster booze. You know what I'm saying? These new female rappers like your Cardi B's, et cetera, et cetera. They pushing. What's that bitch name? That might be a trainee anyway, I don't know. Trash, trash from I don't know. But anyway, they pushing that a woman to sleep with it as many men as you want. That's gonna cause women to sleep with whoever the hell she wanna sleep with. On top of the so-called woman's women's liberation. You know what I'm saying? On on top of that, the you got single mothers breathing single mothers. Because what misery love company in scriptures goes into that. But there's a lot I want to go into. That's a lesson for another day. So now I have to read this again. Because there's more I want to speak about. Don't partake in her sins. Don't participate in her sins. Because I do want to. Let me read this again. That I, that I, I'm going to speak about false prophets. Because Esau promotes false prophets. But let me hold that thought. That, like I said, there's a lot I want to go into. It is. I'm trying to, you know, say certain things in the on this lunch break camp. Uh, Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 it says. And I still want to speak about the angels who ate. We're going to see what we can work with. Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. 
and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. So don't participate in what she's doing with the orgies and stuff like that. All right, so now let's talk about false prophets. Esau promotes, remember what I said earlier, if Esau promotes it, it's wrong. Um, if Esau don't promote it, think about it. Um, Esau promotes Creflo Dollar, TD um, Snakes, or well, TD Jakes, um, we call them TD Snakes, um, and he promotes false prophets because they don't have the truth. That's why he promotes them. He don't promote real prophets, right? He don't promote, listen, um, real prophets goes out in the streets. But he, what, what he will promote is on these false prophets, which has these buildings that's have been conquered by the 501c3 charter. Any prophet, any man that accept the 501c3 charter is a false prophet. I'm out here in these streets. I'm not all about numbers, man. I'm all about keeping it real, keeping it 100%. And I'm saying lifting up the banner, which is the scriptures, which is these, um, hey, which is thus said the Lord, not what I say. But what? Thus said the Lord. I'm pushing that real, pushing it raw, uncut. This video is not even edited. You know what I'm saying? But now, going all the way back to what else do um, Esau promotes besides false prophets? Fast food. You know what I'm saying? You know, the food tastes great. But is it healthy? Is it good for the body? That's the question that you need to ask yourself. And the answer is, of course not. It tastes good. You know, we eat it. Look, look, man, I like me some fast food. But is it good for the body? Absolutely not. But at the same time, the fruits and vegetables is GMO. So if you live in America, this is the, this don't apply to, well, China is ranked number two, worst food. Australia, um, the country of Australia. Oh, I know about y'all. Y'all right, um, y'all might be ranked number three, if I'm not mistaken, whatever well, the case may be. But anyway, when you look at America, Man, you know what? America and China might be tied for number one and two. <laughs> I don't know, no. I might, I might have to give, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to give it to America. Then China's ranked number two. Big fake food, false food, food. It's not even real food, all right? Because you can call yourself, you know what? I'm gonna eat healthy fruits, vegetables only, and you still get sick. Your bones still breaking all kinds of shit, right? I don't know what time it is. Okay, kind. You know, your bones still break, whatever the case may be. It don't matter what you eat. So, if you live in these other countries where the food is more real, you can eat healthy and, and be even more healthy. But, you try that shit over here and you like, God damn, I'm, I got my salad, you know, I got my carrots, my blueberries, but everything GMO. This is America. So, um, um, United States of America. North America. I ain't talking about Canada, which Canada fucked up. I ain't even, yo, we're gonna speak about them later. I'm talking about the, the United States of America. This the the worst food in the world. You can call yourself trying to eat fruits and vegetables. That shit don't mean nothing. This is literally the, the worst place. And food's supposed to be medicine. GMO, everything. Everything, everything is GMO. On top of the chemtrails. On top, listen, the whore that sits on the beast is nothing to be played with. How the fuck is you doing all this juicing? You doing this and that, this and that, and you still can't lose 10 pounds? Whatever the case may be. How is you exercising and doing all this and you still not able to be at 100%? You can never be at 100%. But that's less for another day. We don't want to make this about um, sports or make it about exercising. But I would just give an example. Alright? But anyway. Let me get right back. Let me read this one more time. Hold on. One more time. Probably like 10 more times. I don't know. Back in the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. It says, My people that. It says, Come out of her, my people. That you be not partakers of her sins. Right? Don't be like her. Right? Don't sell, listen to all my real prophets. Don't sell your souls like these false prophets. Y'all get that? 
Don't don't sit, don't do, take that five hundred one c three charter. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. If you take that five hundred one c three charter, you know what I'm saying? Don't you do that? All right? It says um, and that ye receive not of her plagues. What plagues is coming to America? The ultimate plague um, that's coming to America is those missiles. Just like Yahweh Shai was the death angel that, that went to ancient Egypt. Yahweh Shai coming back to modern day Egypt. America. Mm. That was uh, ancient Egypt. Oh, you, uh, America is ancient Egypt. Blend in with Nineveh. Blend in with Sodom and Gomorrah and those three neighboring cities. Um, uh, America is the land of, of confusion. But Bob. All right, this is the land of confusion. He'll spin you around like a ball for more to come back. Spin you with it. A blend of your head. This is it. Yeah, all wicked kingdoms combined in one. This is what you call America. The daughter of Babylon. Not ancient Babylon. Not No, not Babylon, but the daughter. What comes out of um, you have uh, ancient Egypt. From ancient Egypt, you have... Uh, uh, Rome, the revived Roman Empire, you have what? America. I'm saying so fast for all the most, all the wicked kingdoms, every last, all those spirits, they over here. On top of the people that are sending their prisoners over here to the uh, America in the Mexico border. They send them, yeah, come on. This is all by design. They letting them come over. Come on, all the way, all of them at that border. It's saying, yeah, shut on. Come on, hey, however the hell you want to say it. You know what I'm saying? But it, you know, but it's all about design. This is like five things I want to say at one time, but you know, you know. Um, but let me read this again. Matter of fact, I do have to speak about the angel, and there's another scripture I want to get. So I still got to get into that Uber diary. So let me do this real quick. The very latter end of Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 it says, "And that ye receive not of her players those missiles." Right? Those missiles is the ultimate play. You talking about famine? I I seen the videos of, of the tribe of Levi, which the in Haiti, the word Haiti goes back to Hades, which means hell. You in hell. That's why that land is all about hell. If you was born in Haiti, you in hell. Point blank period. And you on the left side of the island. That's hell. The right side, where well, they catch hell too, but it don't compel. I mean. It don't compare. I said compare. <laughs> but you got a tribe of, um, you got the so-called Dometicans, so-called the tribe of Simeon. You got Levi and Simeon. They both veteran. Weapons of cruelty is in a habitation. Roughly paraphrasing. Talking about that voodoo, you know that, you know, that left hand shit. Hey, you got Levi eating each other. Man, they been doing that shit. Levi been eating each other. It just Esau just decided to put it out. They been eating each other. They'll, they'll burn some. Matter of fact, I seen the article. Um, I should have saved it, but I didn't. I should have saved it. I seen the article yesterday. Uh, people, man, woman, and children getting shot in the streets. Mainly adults getting shot in the streets with nobody to pick up the corpse. They just shot dead. They just laying, laying in the damn streets. And I seen the video of Levi, which is these crazy niggas, so-called Haitians, the tribe of Levi, these crazy ass niggas, burn somebody, here you go, pluck the body, you know, get meat from the body, you know, from the bone, and just eat it. And they learn that shit from, from, from the Hamites. Alright? Because Ham, Ham did that shit first. Him and sit there and he got them eat your ass, got them Levi. It's, it's just like Elder Apostle to RC. Alright? They spiritual, but on the left hand, not on the right hand, like they supposed supposed to be, but on the left hand. Boy, that's a try. They'll put do all that root voodoo, all that shit what time it is. Matter of fact, let me speak about the angel, man. It says, and that ye received not of her plagues. 
Uh, you don't want to receive the plague of famine or those missiles of all hell breaking loose. I mean, we're talking about Jacob Trouble. Alright? Um, let me speak about this angel that I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me speak about the chariot first, then the angel. So, so this happened. Man, I forgot what year. Was it 2012, 2013? I forgot the exact year. But this had to be about 2012, 20, 2012, 2013, something, something like that, like like round that. Um, I was setting the work. I'm the only one on the road. Cause this is gonna lead me into how the way the angels gonna come and Esau got nothing on those angels. Um, time it is. So so when I was going down the road, heading down, you know, heading to work, it's five o'clock in the morning. And I was going to work. And I'm riding on the right side. This ain't the UK, so I'm riding on the right side and I look to my left. And, I, and at that time I was on a moped, which one of those Chinese, you know, more bike moped, you no know, you know, no fuck up mopeds. I wanna go 40 miles per hour. And I look to my left. And I can see what I thought was like a a huge disco ball. That's the best way to explain it. But this disco ball was shaped like a, a diamond, you know, like it come like this, come, come, and come like that, right? And it was like sparkling. You know what I'm saying? It was like lights everywhere. So I ain't talking about no chariot all the way in the sky. I'm talking about no chariot on the other side of the road. I'm on the right, riding the moped, you know what I'm saying? There you go, you know what I'm saying? And I look to the left. I said, oh, shh, what is that? Now imagine. A diamond-shaped chariot that's sparkling lights, and I'm looking t to the left, and it's, it's right there on the other side of the road, not on the pavement, but on the hovering above the grass. All right, and I'm riding, and I look, oh shit, oh snap, what is that? And it made absolutely no. I'm on the moped going 40 miles per hour. It's literally going the same speed I'm going. Listen, what do Esau have that can fly or can ride or on, on water, underwater, whatever the case may be? What do the submarine, whatever, what, what do he have? Any kind, of, any kind of vehicle that makes absolutely no noise. Skateboard, bicycle, I don't care what it is. What does Esau have that's in the sky that makes absolutely no noise? Nothing. I mean, this was a chariot. It wasn't, I ain't talking about in the sky. No, it was literally right here. On the other side of the road, hovering above the grass, going through trees. The trees ain't swaying, the trees ain't moving, and none of that. They ain't high. Some, no, 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 no. I'm, as I'm riding the work. It's one long road to work. There's one road to turn right, boom, just keep going straight, turn left, boom, turn into my job. It's a long road. It's a chariot right here. It's literally going through. I got trees on my right, trees on my left. The chariot is, is going through trees. The trees is not being affected at nothing. And I'm looking at the chariot like, oh man. Shalom, shalom. And, and, then, it, 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 and then the chariot happened. You know, like plain light. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't no regular type. This ain't no regular kind of brightness. Like, people have, like, when you ride at night, um, people have their high beam up. Like, can you please stop? When there's a head to head, put it on low beam. And when you get past that vehicle, then put it on high. But people don't do that no more. Like, come on, stop. And then that shit will blind your eyes and you can't see on the other side. So, anyway. But that kind of brightness doesn't blind your eye. It can be bright. I mean, like the brightness that I see, it was bright, but it didn't blind my eye at all. I, I could literally see the chariot bright up when I said shot a mom and then it is, it is bright. Either two or three times, I forgot. Cause they did back in like 2012, 2013, one of those years, 2012, 2013. And I still remember it like it was just it is bright and it stopped. And 
fast forward the story, I think I have to go in like, it damn I have to go um, in like two, three minutes. So when I got to, to, to the red light, Chevy did like this spin and they shoot up like this and it just went all the way up in the sky. It just went, it went all the way up in the sky. All right? So when you know, the scriptures speak about those players, that chariot, chariots like that, is coming back for you. And they're going to spit that fire too. Coming out the mouth of those chariots. Yeah, with those laser beams. Those laser beams. Oh, yeah. I might as well say this too. Let me say this too. Let me add two more minutes to the plate. Fuck it. Let's do this. Let me speak about the angel one more time. The angel that I seen, I, I never forget. This what is 2018, 2019, something like that. But I still remember it clear as day when I seen the actual angel. I still remember. I never forget this 2018, 2019 when I had when I was on night shift. I never, I never forget this. I was down and out on my lunch break. I walk outside. I say, Lord, please uplift my spirit. I feel down. I don't feel right. I feel down. Lord, please help. I kid you not. The spirit came up. Well, an, an angel shoot up like this from, from behind the trees. Because we got a lot of trees for you West Coast brothers with all that desert. So, an angel came from behind the trees. Sh sh shoot up above my head. And I'm looking up at the angel like this. I wasn't scared of nothing like that. But I was shocked like Bro, when I say I seen the an angel, when I seen the an angel, I seen the afro came like, probably like this right here, the afro, a full beard, the eyes, the nose, the ears. I seen the ears. He was holding a staff. He had on a white garment all the way down to the foot. He was holding a staff like this. And he looked at me just like this. He ain't smile, no, he was very austere. He was serious. He was like, look right at me. I look him right in the eyes. He he he, he, he been looking right at me. I just It's real. Ever since then, I say, Lord, you ain't never gotta show me nothing else. Lord, I ain't gotta see nothing else. I seen the actual. I seen the actual. I said I, I almost said army. But I seen the actual angel. I seen it, I seen it, I seen the actual angel. I know how the angels look just by looking at that one angel. He had on a white garment that came all the way down to the foot holding his staff. And he had a wings. He had a wing a wing that came like this. Well, I can't hardly do it, you know, the wall blocking me, as you can see right here. I'm hitting it. But the wing, the wing behind him came like this. He he had wings all white. He was like he bloomed, he was, I mean it was perfect. I ain't talking about that fake ass bloom that little blurry. No, he had real bloom. He was, he, 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 it was perfect. Like, man, that's what's on our side. Man, I gotta get old, man. But hey, man, you know, hopefully this on um, Tuesday, March the 12th. It's Tuesday, March the 12th. Lunch break camp lesson was there to find out. I'm gonna end up by saying, call like the apple by shim, I was shaped by shim, recall for a dodge that wanted to that Double honor to the Elton Apostle, the Great Millstone, Shout out to the Wanda to Shout out to Wanda going in it, man. Hopefully, this on lunch break camp. Let's go set the fire to y'all, man. Hey, 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 man. Hey, I ain't got to open die yet, but Lord, we know we start up with that tomorrow, man. All right. Shout out to Wanda.